Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my colleagues here, uh, we've just come from a very important security meeting on matters uh, affecting our people in Kerio Valley, particularly in security in our three counties. We are very happy that the whole security team involved on in this matter, led by the CS, uh, Dr. Fred Matiangi, uh, and the PS and the Inspector General, have come to discuss with us uh, a lasting solution on this matter. As leaders from that region, we have shared the concerns of the citizens. We have also shared um, what we think are suggestions of how we can make uh, deal with this situation. We have also heard from the Sears and his team uh, the measures they are going to put in place, as he's going to explain to you. On behalf of my colleagues, uh, we have committed ourselves, one, to cooperate fully with the security agencies. Uh, to also sensitize our citizens on what they need to do uh, in terms of uh, supporting the security team uh, to make sure that we deal with the criminals. We've agreed that um, all these criminals will be dealt as criminals. Uh, they will not be shielded based on the community where they come from, their constituency, the county. Ours is to make sure that that region is uh, safe for our citizens and therefore we are going to give maximum support. Uh, to the security team. We have requested uh, the uh, CS to also make sure that uh, they uh, bolster the security uh, team that is on the ground uh, and to work closely with the citizens from the local area. So mine is to just say that we as citizens, we are going to support them. We pray that uh, this will be the last time we are coming to meet in this manner and that our people go back to working together and working for development uh, you know that um, we have a voice as elected leaders. We we'll use that voice for good to ensure that we unite the people, but also we rally them around uh, the security team that is here to make sure that success is achieved. Uh, on behalf of my colleagues who are here and those who are not here, I, I believe that this meeting has been successful. There are people who think that uh, myself, Honorable uh, uh, as, uh, Governor Kacha, uh, uh, West Pokot and uh, Senator West Pokot, uh, uh, Senator Baringo um, cannot meet. But you can see we are we are uh, talking and laughing with uh, Governor Lonyangapo, my former colleague in the Senate, and Senator and Honorable uh, Kamket was here, is here actually. And uh, all of us have now agreed that this is beyond us in terms of security operation. We leave it to the government and we support them to make sure that they flush out all the criminals. Uh, of course, we are also of the idea, when I see us, that as you deal with the security issues on the ground, protect innocent civilians so that they don't become collateral damage, so that they continue being the agents of change by volunteering information to you as who are the criminals. Asante Nisana and God bless. Kenya kwa niapa ya wenzangu, makavana ambayo, kaundis yao inagusa kerio vali. We are about four or five. Ume simama na bwana CS na viongozi wote ambao wanatoka makaundi hizo kusema tume tumejitoa kabisa kusema mambo ya amani kwa mbele ile ile resolution ambayo tumeweka ni kwamba wa Kenya wawe uhuru na waendelee kufanya kazi yao mahali popote especially in the Rift Valley na bila kuokuwa na hofu wawe na mali yao na ilindwe vizuri sisi tume commit viongozi wote ya kwamba hakuna upendeleo lazima kila mtu awe uhuru wakati wote usiku na mchana na kama viongozi wenu wateni vile tumesema mjeuri moja moja akipatikana wale wanasumbua watu semeni kuna viongozi vikosi ya usalama wako karibu na sisi viongozi wenu tunaishi na nyinyi tutahakikisha kwamba kila mtu aendelee na maisha yake kama ya kawaida Especially while what were border side of West Pokot, Turkana, Marakwet, Baringo, when you will want to go Jana, Majusi, Kila Mutu Arudi Kwak, Ili Usalama to Metipitisha Sai, na CS Matiangi na Timiake, na Munaskia to Gionga, this is other Ulimi yet, Muena Kika Wamba, Kila Mutu Rudi Kwak, na Mutu Aki Patikana na Tembe na Sila, Ata Vimbo in Yafanana Kama Punduki. Vimbo yenye banana kama 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 silaha yote ile choma 
<laughs> Hata waweza kama tu. <laughs> so sisi tuna hakika ya kwamba inji yetu itaendelea kuwa uhuru kama vile tunaambiwa na viongozi wetu. Asandeni sana tutaonana huko Resafu kwa mambo ya maendeleo. Thank you for your patience and for uh, come, coming here with us. Secondly, I want to thank the leaders of the North Rift, the governors who have been here, the honorable elected uh, members of parliament. Uh, as the two representatives of those leaders have spoken, the honorable Senator Mukomen and Governor Nyangapuo, we've spent a better part of this morning here. Uh, the uh, national security team led by uh, myself and the Inspector General, the PS in internal security, uh, Dr. Karanja Kibicho, uh, my colleague, Assistant Minister Honorable uh, Chebi Kilimo, and uh, the rest of the actors in the security team to address the question of North Rift. And uh, we have gone to great lengths to address uh, recent challenges that came up uh, in the particularly three counties, Elgeo Maracuete, uh, West Pokot, and uh, Baringo. We have reached very useful resolutions. We have agreed that effective tomorrow, we begin a renewed operation to drive out uh, of areas of Baringo North and Baringo South, the bandits uh, that are in those areas to try and help our people settle back to their normal lives. We have doubled our security deployment in this region. Already on the border of uh, uh, Elgeo Maracuete and West Pokot, we have uh, brought in five platoons uh, of our special GSU teams. We are going to move a new us to camp and the stock that unit camp to Chesegon, uh, which um, uh, is going to provide security in that area to try and uh, 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 help our people as they move around there. We have uh, again agreed on renewed redeployment uh, in areas of Baringo North and uh, Baringo South to ensure that uh, all those uh, citizens of our country who are affected from our homes are resettled back. We are asking um, those who are occupying some of those areas illegally uh, to leave, but uh, unfortunately they only have between now and uh, probably uh, tonight to leave peacefully. We are going to begin removing them ourselves tomorrow. Uh, and uh, we will issue a new operational order immediately that uh, will begin driving these people out to protect the lives uh, of those people. Uh, we have taken many other uh, measures in that uh, respect. We have been conducting investigations in this region. I've asked the leaders here and I'm grateful that they agree with all of us. But uh, they will not shield, as the Senator Mokomen said, they are not going to shield anyone involved in acts of uh, confusion, incitement and violence in this part uh, of our country. So if all the measures that we have announced and agreed on today are implemented as we believe they will, we are going to operationalize all the administrative areas in Baringo North and uh, Baringo South that have not been operationalized, the locations, the sub-locations, so that we man all those areas of administration. There are certain areas in the real market also that need to be operationalized and we have agreed the county commissioner will review all of them. We operationalize them and have them appoint uh, uh, chiefs and assistant chiefs so that we begin to provide services close to our people and we begin to engage uh, closely with our people. Finally, we have agreed that the leaders will now begin to have communal conversations. Uh, either using the Yumbakumi and the elders' councils, we are beginning to uh, intensify uh, communication and conversations across the border to try and bring our people together. I like the idea that all our leaders here have unanimously agreed that uh, building a peaceful and uh, uh, conducive environment for coexistence is our responsibility, all of us. And we are going to work together, all of us. We have speakers here from the county assemblies. We have members of the county assemblies who are here with us. And of course, uh, you have seen, we have the senators and the uh, members of the National Assembly. We have agreed we are going to work together on this matter. We will review this situation again, review the deployment that we have put here and the actions we have taken today in two weeks' time, and then see how else we will advance now the medium-term and long-term measures, including the building of the security roads and the opening up parts of uh, Baringo that have got challenges uh, just now. There, there are aspects or parts of these uh, affected areas that uh, will require deployment of our special police teams. They have been mapped out by the Inspector General of Police and with immediate effect he has pointed out to the police command on the ground where we are going to embed them. I don't have to give a long commentary on that because that's a security operation as it were. But finally, to assure 
uh, the people of the North Rift, that uh, working together as we now do with the leaders here, uh, peace will be restored, normals will come back, and they will go uh, on with their businesses of building the country and building the nation. We would like the schools that have been closed to reopen immediately. And we are going to be there to facilitate them. We will provide security to the schools, uh, either directly ourselves or through local arrangements that we are going to make with some NPRs to ensure that these schools are properly protected and our kids go back to school and learning is not disturbed again. So we will continue working at this. We are not deluded to think that this is a one day, one week affair. We have begun a journey together. Fortunately, we are all unanimous on that matter and we will begin working on this with the hope uh, of uh, keeping this place peaceful uh, uh, finally because people in some of these parts of our country have been really disturbed as it were. Thank you so much good people and all the best. You know, by the way, the, the truth of the matter is this. Uh, save for the recent uh, skirmishes and disturbances that began the other day, uh, the area has been peaceful for a long period of time. And this is because of uh, mainly three things. One, a successful disarmament that was conducted there from 2018 all the way to 2020. Two, the commitment and involvement of local leaders. Because every time we have been here, you have seen we are working very closely with the local leaders. Uh, last time I had a meeting with the religious leaders and the elders who have been very deeply involved uh, in, uh, you know, intercommunal conversations and so on. And that has kept the place peaceful uh, for a long time. And thirdly, of course, the security operations and the numbers that we put on the ground. From time to time, you realize that uh, sometimes uh, new challenges emerge or new uh, threats emerge in terms of security and we have to address them. Because Insecurity is itself very dynamic, uh, you know, and it manifests itself in different ways. We are surrounded by you know, a very interesting environment. Uh, you know what is going on in Sudan, South Sudan, Somalia, Ethiopia, and so on. And therefore, because of our neighborhood, sometimes again, you know, more uh, you know, arms come in and more illicit guns come in, and then you will see this in uh, some sort of sporadic rise in, uh, in local uh, incidents of crime, such as we are witnessing the North Rift. This is why this is happening. And we'll go back again. We will never stop doing the disarmament. We'll go back again and do some more disarmament, even as we embed more uh, security resources uh, within the communities. And again, the most important factor is constant work with the communities and involving the local leaders. Because they understand the area, they understand the terrain, they understand the people, and they are able to engage with the people much, much faster and easier than we can as even national government. And you can see the leaders' commitment here and how they're working on this. That's why I'm optimistic that we'll sort this out. Of course, I don't think that will, uh, will mean the end of all these problems. They may come up, but we'll reduce them to a point where economic activity is not as disrupted as it was recently now with the disturbance of learning in Baringo and so on. The, no, it's not. You see, it's, it's not strategy. The, let, let me, if you jog your memory and go, go back to where we've come from, uh, the scale of uh, security challenges we used to deal with in the past in this part of our country mm. is nothing compared to what we are dealing with today. In fact, the counties like West Pokot are now totally peaceful. You can almost declare them completely peaceful because of the, the investments the county government has done, the workings with the national government, and so on and so forth. We are making tremendous progress. The, 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 the scale of, of uh, the challenges we have had reduces as we go by. The more we engage, the more we deploy, the more resources we bring on board, we, we experience changes. I'm very optimistic that uh, uh, we are moving further and further away from some of these disturbances. There's been a huge change. And look, look at the level of engagement by, 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 by the leaders. And then in the past, sometimes we couldn't even have meetings of this kind. And you can see now the, the constant commitment from, from the leaders to work at this as we go along. We are creating new administrative units, bringing in new resources. There is new economic activity that uh, you know the, the communities are engaging in. And we are opening up the areas through the new security roads we are going to do in uh, Baringo North, for example, and Baringo South. The area is getting more and more uh, open. And then uh, that is the way to the future. Uh, it is not going to happen in one week or one month or one year. It's a journey we have to keep walking, and I'm happy that you know we are all unanimous and we are together with the leaders to walk that journey to bring in a lasting uh, solution to this problem. So I'm very optimistic that we, we are able to resolve this. This is nothing compared to what we dealt with in the past. I mean, uh, even in the case of uh, illicit firearms, 
we, the, the scale we were dealing with in the past was like 10 times what we are handling uh, right now. And we, that's why we are optimistic that we are going to resolve this. So the strategy we have deployed has worked because that is why you can see a decline in the, in the scale, the number of uh, cases and so on. Even as we experience this challenge, I know that after today, for example, by next year we will have a better situation. So it has nothing to do with the, the, the drought as it were. I mean, there could be other economic issues sometimes. There could be a political issue here and there, or sometimes just a basic, straightforward case of criminals, you know, taking advantage of a peaceful environment. Thanks.